A recent high-profile visit to the South, North Korea expressed that it's willing to open dialogue with Washington. America's acting ambassador to Seoul responded, talks are welcome, but not if it's just to buy time for the regime to continue developing nuclear weapons. Huan Zhang will share with us his remarks. Mark Napa, the charge affair at the U.S. Embassy in Seoul, has reiterated that North Korea's nuclear threat is the greatest issue facing the U.S. right now. However, speaking to the South Korean press on Wednesday, Napa said that the U.S. remains open to talks with the regime, but only if Pyongyang shows a willingness and sincere attitude towards the idea of denuclearization. I think we've seen enough times in the past that the North has, has used dialogue with us, with South Korea and others, uh, to continue to buy time to pursue its programs of, of nuclear and, and, uh, and, and missiles development. Um, as President, and President, President Trump and President Moon have both said, we don't want to repeat the same mistakes as the past. The acting ambassador also addressed concerns about the surprise retirement of Joseph Yoon, Washington's top envoy in dealing with North Korean affairs and one who also championed dialogue and peaceful resolution. His departure has sparked speculation that it signals a change in U.S. policy towards a more aggressive and potentially militaristic stance towards North Korea. The lack of an appointed ambassador in South Korea for over a year has also caused concern over how closely Washington is looking to work with Seoul. Napa gave reassurances that those fears were unfounded. Our policy remains the same. Our close coordination with South Korea will continue unabated and we will continue to work very closely with our Korean friends and allies here in Seoul, in Washington and in New York. Um, going forward and without any change whatsoever. Napa also dismissed suggestions of any further delays in the annual joint South Korea-U.S. military drills that were postponed for the PyeongChang Olympics, stressing that it was a necessary measure to maintain a strong deterrence posture. The drills are set to restart on April 1st and are expected to anger Pyongyang, possibly even leading to the regime resuming its ballistic missile and nuclear testing, undoing the work that has led to an easing of tensions since the start of the year. If the U.S. and North Korea are to hold talks, as they have expressed, there will likely not be a better window of opportunity than over the next month. But whether either side will soften its stance enough in time for the talks to happen remains unclear. Kwon Jae-won, Arirang News.